In this video, I'm gonna share with you seven of my cozy fall favorite things that are systems or items or just things that lessen my stress as a mom of three kids that are just really nice transition systems and things uh, as we go from summer to fall. And I wanted to share those things that are really just bringing me some joy right now. Welcome to this video. My name is Erica Lucas. I share videos about slow and simple living and I'm holding three of the seven. Well, I'm holding two of the seven in front of a third. So my blanket hooks, I feel like this just <laughs> is saving a section of my sanity right now. These used to get draped over the couch and every single day they would end up on the floor. My six-year-old would slide on the hardwood floors with whatever blanket was on the floor. He'd take it around the house and clean the floor with our couch blankets. Uh, the dogs would lay on them and they would get dog hair and dirt on them. This hook thing, like a year and a half ago, it has been sitting in a box. When my husband hung this a couple weeks ago, it still had Christmas wrapping paper on it from two Christmases ago. Wow, that's almost two years. Okay, so it still had Christmas wrapping paper on it because I wanted it for Christmas and then I never used it. So we put it up here. I'm hanging the blankets so they're not all the way to the floor. It's a system that's kind of high in order to achieve that so the blankets aren't touching the floor, which means the kids can't hang them, um, which means it's something I have to do, but it's been a system that has worked really well because now if the kids want a blanket it's an intentional specific decision i get the blanket i give it to them and then we get it back onto the hook when we reset the family room each day we usually do that around one o'clock while i'm making lunch the kids are resetting the family room and one of those things is getting the blankets back onto the hook so that's number one number two my soup book and number two is really all homemade soups especially from scratch and and making my own broth and then also making my own bread to go along with the soups. We are a major soup family. We love soups, we eat them year round. In the fall though, and pulling in those fall vegetables that I can get from the farmer's market, and this soup book has been great. We've already tabbed all the things that we like so far. We don't tab the ones that we don't like. I'll, I might write a post-it and stick it on a recipe that we tried and we don't like. My favorite soups right now, we have three on rotation. Soup number one, it's called Italian penicillin, Italian pestino. We call it noodle soup in our house and it's a really great way, sneaky way to get tons of vegetables in soup. I make uh, vegetable I make vegetable broth from scratch. I save the, the scraps of peppers and onions and carrots and everything and I keep them in a freezer bag. And when I have two full bags of Ziploc gallon sized of free of vegetable scraps, I make vegetable broth. You just boil it 60, 90 minutes and then strain out the vegetable scraps and you've got vegetable broth. I, then I use that vegetable broth to make the soup. I put in carrots, onions, celery if I have it, garlic, like just cloves of garlic, um, and a little salt and pepper. Boil that for 45 minutes until the veggies are just squishy soft. Pop them in a blender and puree them. They're like a really lovely orange color. Pour that back into the broth and make this like carroty, creamy, it's not even creamy because you don't add milk, but carroty, <laughs> thick-ish broth. And then I bring it to a boil. I pop in whatever noodles I have, some shredded chicken that's already cooked, put it in there, noodle soup. Good one. So another one we're making right now is chicken soup with bone broth, that's a favorite. And then my pasta visual that I've been making for 15 years, that's always a, a favorite. And it just gets adjusted for whatever taste my children have at the time. Some weeks we like beans and some weeks we don't like beans. So, all right, that's my soups. Soups from scratch with homemade bread, maybe a little rosemary I grew myself in the garden. Oh, these things are bringing me so much joy right now. Okay, number three, prioritizing art as a family. This year has brought me an immense amount of joy and satisfaction. This is one of our projects. We use uh, glitter bombers. It's soul sparklets. I'll leave a website link for you below. It's not a referral link or an affiliate link. It's just a program that we use. Uh, she opens enrollment once or twice a year. I'm not sure, but she does have some free projects on her, on her Facebook page and her website. This is not one of the free projects. This is with glow-in-the-dark paint, and she teaches you how to draw a pumpkin, 
how to paint, different ways to tint, and um, uh, different techniques you can use. And she teaches you, she has this program jam-packed with art projects. We do at least two art projects a week. And I have an art line in our dining room where we hang all of our finished art projects. Uh, we have an art portfolio for each person in our house. My husband and I share one because it came in a four pack and we have three kids. And so I'm keeping all of their art projects in a portfolio for them this year. It's been really awesome to have this creative outlet for me and for the kids this year. Just loving this and just the joy and the time we get to spend together and just sitting for an hour working on something and everybody has a different rendition at the end even though she taught us all the same way it's just been really cool soups blankets art projects all together at the table for fall fall themed art projects these are all cozy things okay i'm gonna call these my cozy seven fall favorites okay number four is reading we prioritize reading in our house, we always have. We have literally read from to the kids since the day they were born. My husband always chose a book to bring with us to the hospital, all three kids, and he started reading to them from the day they were born. So it's always been a thing in our house. This year, uh, the kids like to sit on the front porch in the rockers with the cushion and the pillow behind them and read their books. Uh, my older two are reading through a stack of assigned reading for the year for school and they just sit on the front porch my oldest makes hot chocolate he did it all summer long so we, i'm assuming he's going to continue doing this in the fall he cozied his cozies it up with a hot chocolate and he sits on the front porch and he reads his chapter each day uh, we also read outside we read on the couch my first grader and i snuggle on the couch with a blanket and read his book he's reading longer books now and he made himself a bookmark because the pages it's like 40 50 page books that he's reading and he likes to stop halfway through and put his bookmark in and we hang our blanket and so that's number four of cozy fall favorites it's just prioritizing reading and making physical spaces for them to cozy up and read a book, as well as prioritizing it as time in our day. The last three are less cozy, but are like systems in our house that bring me joy and make my brain feel good <laughs> and save my sanity, yeah. is our laundry schedule. I made it several months ago. I'm gonna leave a blog link below for you of just my laundry schedule, my laundry favorites, but writing down a schedule Monday through Saturday has been awesome on so many, or Monday through Sunday has been awesome for so many reasons. One, it got me organized and I had to let go of the guilty feeling of being behind on laundry. It's a cycle. There's always clean laundry, laundry in the hamper, laundry that's half worn, but not not quite dirty for dirty enough for the washer, but not clean enough to go back on the hook in the closet. There's clean laundry that maybe needs to be folded and put away. There's sports laundry. Of uh, Laundry has a life cycle. And realizing that made me feel less behind on laundry and creating myself a schedule just saved me because I didn't have to make the decisions anymore of looking at a giant pile. What do I wanna wash next? I took that decision making out of it. Not that that's repeatedly it's a repeated small decision, but removing that decision on a daily basis has freed up mental space for me that I didn't even realize I was doing when I created a laundry schedule. And so now Wednesday's predicted. It's Jack's laundry day and Wednesday whites. Those are things I'm doing. If I have extra time, I do whatever's on the floor that ended up in the laundry extra for the week. I have our blankets on a weekly wash schedule. I come down here, I take them all off the hook, put them through the wash, put them all back. Same with my towels. Uh, each kid has a day. Andy and I have special days where I, I, it helps me stay better organized about the laundry life cycle. Number six is a charging cart. We were using the kitchen counter, I don't know, two, three years, something really long. It just stopped working for me because of the vibe and the message that 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 was sending every day from our kitchen counter. Like we actually had a space we didn't use on our kitchen counter just so we could charge devices. And then right below that, the top drawer held all the chargers. Headphones didn't have a place to be. Um, not all devices could get charged at the same time. So there would be a queue waiting there. So I, I created a charging cart. We had a cart, I used what we already had. We had a charging block, I used what we already have. 
and I just made sure we had all the cords we needed for all of the devices, labeled them, and made the top shelf the charging shelf, the middle shelf as the cords shelf, and the bottom shelf for headphones. Now they all have a place to live. It's not in my kitchen. It can move around the house to wherever I want it to be. That's just a system that's been working really well for me. Number seven is playing games, board games. We love board games, educational board games for school. We love fun family board games. Right now, some of the favorites that are being played over and over right now in our house are Guess Who, Sleeping Queens, Zombie Run, which if you know the game golf with cards where you can't look at the top two, that's Zombie Run. Sorry, Connect Four, um, Ten Fish, really nice. Oh, we just bought this new game, uh, Chicken. It's a uh, dice game. Those are my fall cozy favorites. And I wanted to share that with you as, as things that just are working for me that lessen my stress as a mom of three kids. And yeah, thanks for watching. Here's, a, here's the latest video. And I really appreciate you sharing your time with me today. I hope you are well. And pumpkin season is upon us. I hope fall is treating you well. Take care.